right, peace in the Grecians. I'm back another lesson. As always, good praise of the Father, the most high nigga for another blessed day. I want to say, I thank the Holy Father, that his name is his name is getting out. Um, a sister had commented on the most high nigga service channel. And the guy name is uh, the Black Horseman promotion, right? And he has a video that he just put up five hours ago called What is the Most High's Real Name? Check that video out. Let's help promote. Help us promote the Most High's sacred name, nigga. Okay? Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go back. Okay? I want you to watch these skits that a brother has sent to me. Check this out. Let's listen to this one first. Jordan Spieth admits Obama beat him at golf. Let's listen to the speech.
today who here loves Trump. I know this guy over here, he loves Trump. Now, here's the deal. We are going to beat these aliens because we've got the best military, but we don't win anymore. And the aliens are laughing at us. They're killing us, and they're laughing at us. We know the aliens are killing us, sir. They have the most advanced weaponized technology we've ever seen. What should we do? Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to bring coal back, okay? We're going to have so much coal, you're going to say, where did all this coal come from? I never knew there could be so much coal. But, Mr. President, what about the aliens? They just vaporized the entire state of California. So that I won the popular vote?
Now the brother sent me this video. He sent me these, these videos today. They cannot help themselves. They got to keep on constantly telling on themselves. <clears throat> so they, they put us up in Predator. You got uh, the movie called Brother from, another, Brother from Another Planet. Whole time it's Negroes. Just showed you in the, uh, in the chariots. that they were being guided by a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. Right here. It's Negroes in these spaceships, in these craft. And they know it. Let's go back here to say, what, what did he just say? So they say there's aliens outside attacking the city. But they but in terms of aliens, they got you thinking in a, in a in a monster form. It's monsters. But no. The white man just told you. He said they have been they've been living in this country for hundreds of years. Let's listen to it again. So is the woman next to her. Look, there's one record to her. The aliens are already here. They've been hiding in this country for hundreds of years. It's a fact. They're shapeshifters. They look like regular people, but they're... That's a fact. They're aliens. Look, there's one right there. <laughs> I am not an alien. Here yes, she is, and so is the woman next to her right there. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Why did he point them two women out? Why did he point the two black women out? Why couldn't he come out and just call him one? Say that he, that he was alien. Because they know who you are. They know who you are connected to. By blood. So you have here images. A pillar of cloud by day. And a pillar of fire by night. Another one right here. This one was on the ground. It's Negroes in here, man. You got the, you got another one. And pillar of fire by night. Now let's go here to uh you got future Rama. Your aliens. See that? 
They're coming off the spaceship. And who and who's coming off the spaceship? Negroes. The got the, the Globe Trotters challenge challenge Earth citizens to a basketball game. Spacious man, that's who's in these crap niggas, the Negroes. But they can't come out and say it. Okay. Now, also, this is that's future Rama. Watch the future Rama episode, season three, episode four, and you're gonna see. So the white man, let's go back. Let's put this cartoon. And historical context. Let's go back to what the white man said on the uh, on the uh. So you got three, you got three sources. Obama's is saying it in secret. Saturday night, Saturday Night Live is saying it. Futurama is saying it. All right, they put it in cartoon format, and they put this with the aliens in a skit format. Obama is saying it in words and secret code. And let's go back here to giant black people. Giant black people. On in spaceships. Ships. Okay, Mr. White Man, let's go back to you. Look, what you say? He said he called them vehicles. So here's a vehicle in Futurama. This is a vehicle, a riding chariot. And he said that the, come on, Mr. White Man, let's put this, let's put this cartoon, Futurama, season three, episode 14. When Negroes get off the spaceships, let's put this cartoon in historical context. Come on, Mr. White Man, give us some more. No, I did not call them objects. That was too new for me. Okay. So I had a Stanford professor sitting on the phone. of a vehicle. You said they can move, they can move like a missile and all that stuff, right? Let's keep on going. Come on, Mr. White Man, give us some more. So, that much we can say about them. For sure. Okay. So, I'm calling them in. Okay. Okay, somebody comes along and says, well, where would you manufacture one that's two and a half earthly small? That it shows black people getting on. What this? What this is? This spacecraft shows what? It shows black people getting off. 
damage. He said it's image. He said it shows black people getting off. They got afros. These are Negroes. Let's go back. Let's put this more this cartoon to, into format. Historical format. Reality. So people with dark skin getting off. Black, black. In actuality, brown people, people with brown skin. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got out the uh, the doorway. I don't know. They got out the doorway. They came out the doorway. Here's the door. There's the doorway opening, and this smoke is coming out behind them. And who's coming off? Who's coming down? Black people, Negroes. That's who's in your spaceships. That's what the Most High rides around. That's what he rides around in. He rides in a goddamn spaceship. In a craft, he's riding around in this. This. It's Negroes up there. He's in that. The creator of heaven and earth, he's riding around in this, in, in this. This. Ain't no damn white people riding around in this. They don't got the damn technology. We come from the source of creation. The, the source that has no beginning or ending, you cannot even understand it. And we come from it. Come on, Mr. White Man, give us some more. Then the doorway, I don't know how high that is. Well, let's look at the car let's look at the damn cartoon. There's a cartoon. There's the the, the landing uh board coming down. The ramp, there's the ramp coming down so they can walk down off this thing. And he said it was seven feet tall. Let's type in Harlem Globetrotters players. Let's see how tall they were. So you got Harlem Globetrotter players height. Harlem Globetrotter Wikipedia. This is founded in 1926. All right? Harlem Globetrotters. Okay? And this is from the Harlem Globetrotters originated on the south side of Chicago. That's where I'm from. So, if we see that if we see that these Harlem Globetrotters were from the south side of Chicago, and by me being from the South South Chicago, me, by me, myself being a Negro, and you see in, in cartoon format that they have the Harlem Globetrotters who is from the South South Chicago who are Negroes who plays, who's playing basketball get off a goddamn spaceship. Let's keep on going. What else we get? Um, and they play basketball. The Negroes, man. What are you all not getting? Man. Will Chamberlain. How tall is Will Chamberlain? Let's click on him. Will Chamberlain stood seven feet tall. What the white man just say? How tall was Miss How tall was it was they Mr. White Man? When they got off the spaceship. What you say? The doorway, he don't know how high that was, so he see these black people getting off the spaceship. You don't know how high it was. And what else? Come on, Mr. White Man, give us some more. How tall was he? Well, what you say, you say seven, seven feet would be conservative Seven feet. Seven feet will be the conservative estimate. Let's go back here. So you got on this, on, on here, 
this is what you're going to see when he gives the sign to go ahead. Here's a spaceship right here that's cloaked in this cloud. And the same spaceship that you, that you see in cartoon format, same damn thing, but it's in color and in, in, uh, animation format, right? And you got seven feet tall black people getting off this damn thing, right? So how tall was Wilk Chamberlain? He said the people were seven feet tall get off the damn spaceship. How tall was Wilk Chamberlain? This nigga is seven feet tall. What are y'all gonna get it? List it. Seven feet tall, one inches. Let's keep on going. Who else we got? Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else played on the Harlem Globetrotters? Look how tall these brothers are, man. So you have Chamberlain and Nate Thurman. Let's look on Nate Thurman. Let's see how tall Nate Thurman is. Nate Thurman. Right? Nate Thurman. American basketball player. Okay? Let's see how tall this dude is. Six feet, 11 inches. Damn near seven feet tall. Here she is, and so is the woman next to her, right there. 
Oh, okay, no. <laughs> they put it in our faces, they make a mockery of us. I'm showing and proving it to you. Others are showing and proving it, are showing it, showing it to you and proving it to you. And you still won't believe it. But when it's too late, what's gonna be your excuse? How, we, how are you gonna give an answer? Because you wanna do your own damn research. Don't take a damn word that I'm saying is true. Don't believe what I say, I could be lying to your ass. I'm trying to get you niggas to think for your own damn self. I'm proving, I'm lining everything up, it's fitting like a glove. So on this Futurama cartoon, episode 14, season three, you have Negroes, the Harlem Globetrotters, getting off this damn spaceship. These are Negroes. Let's click on Nate Thurman. He's an American basketball player. He's a Negro. Let's go back here. Click on Will Chamberlain. We know that Will Chamberlain is a Negro. Will Chamberlain is a Negro. And he's seven feet inches, just like the man who played in Predator. Kevin Hall, who played Predator. Kevin Peter Hall. Let's click on, click on Kevin Peter Hall. Kevin Peter Hall. Kevin Peter Hall, this black man who played the Predator. How tall was he? Kevin Peter Hall was seven feet, two inches. What the white man just say? How tall was these so-called aliens getting off this damn spaceship? Let's go back to it. That shows black people getting off. Look at the cartoon. What's, who's getting off here? Black people. What do you call black people? Negroes, niggas, brown people, brown skinned people. Revelations, uh, Revelations, uh, chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. It says, yeah, skin is bronze. What color is bronze? Brown. 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 Revelation chapter 1. Verse 14 and 15. King James Version. The hair on his head was white like wool. As white as snow. Alright? The hair on his head was white like wool. White like wool. Let's go into the Clarendon Dictionary to prove it. Who has woolly hair? Clarendon Dictionary. 1894. Well... Come on, Mr. Uh, white man who wrote the dictionary, who's supposed to be superior in knowledge. Well, let's see who you got down here for the definition of wool. What name pops up? Come on, Mr. White Man. Give me the answer. You've been putting this stuff in my face all this time. Well, guess what? The joke's on you. The joke is on you. We're going to wool. Right? Okay. the definition of wool. Okay, give me one second so I can bring this out. 
Okay, so there's. Let me blow this up. So there's the deafness of wolf. You can see that. So here's the definition of wool. It says wool. W-O-O-L. Wool. The soft curled hair of sheep and other animals. Closely curled hair of Negroes. Let's go to the Bible. What did Christ look like? The Hamashiach. The son of the Most High. What did he look like? Well, it said the hair on his head was white like a wool. Who has woolly hair? Negroes. All right. And let's keep on going here. So it says the hair, the hair, the head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So he has white woolly hair. Alright, let's go to verse 15. And what else we got? So you might have, you might come back with a white woolly afro or white woolly braids, white woolly dress. Hey, no telling. But guess what? He a nigga. And it says that, and his feet like a to fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So check this out. Think about this, man. Think, of, think, think, think. God damn. Think. And he's a man, which he is. Since he's a man, wouldn't it make common sense? Wouldn't it make logical sense that in order for us to get around on Earth to travel from point A to point B, we have to get in something to ride around in a, a, a vehicle, a car, or we on water? We have to get in a boat to travel to travel across the sea, or we in, are when I'm flying in the air. What we got to fly? A damn airplane. So it says. And his feet like a defined brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So, he, so his, 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 his body is brass. What color is brass? Brown. And when you put something in the furnace, and you put something in the furnace, what color, what color does it get? Black. It becomes burnt. And his voice is sound in many waters. So how is this voice going to be heard? And if he's on this spaceship, try and get your nickels to think. So, if he's on this ship coming down, and the angels are coming down, all right, and the angels are and the angels are coming down, how in the world is this voice going to be amplified? He says, "Voice as the sound of many waters." Would it would it not be possible that this if this ship has advanced technology? How is this voice going to be heard? Well, guess what? If, if this ship is able to do this, cloak itself in the clouds, in the atmosphere, and, and do this, cat, uh, uh, be turned into a pillar of fire, why would it not be possible for this damn thing to have a microphone on it, a megaphone, to get your voice to be heard. When the police pull you over, how did they get their voice to be heard? Because the car can't talk, so how is their voice being amplified? Through a damn microphone, you fools. Damn. And you niggas don't think. You don't think. His word is true. He says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You niggas don't want to learn a damn thing. But guess what? Like I said, me, myself, and other brothers had to come on here and teach your ass something. So let's type in 
police car. So you got the police siren. When the police pull you over, how do you know you're being pulled over? Through a siren. And if the voice wants to be heard, what, what's on top of the siren? What's on top of the police car? Siren. And what's attached to the damn siren? A damn microphone. A speaker. So they speak to the microphone, and what's coming out? What's on top? A damn speaker. When you in church or, or wherever you are speaking and giving a, pre a presentation and you speaking to a crowd of about, say, a, a thousand people, well, you know damn near well that your voice is not going to be, uh, uh, it's not going to reach a thousand people. So how is your voice going to be heard? How is your voice, how, how are you going to get your, your voice, your sound to be projected to a thousand people? At that big, at that, at that amount of uh, space, in, in that amount of space, well, it be, it would be possible if you have a microphone and a speaker. Now your voice is being projected. Now it has the sound. The sound is being amplified. That's why it says that he has the sound of many waters. So when he speaks, and when he, when he comes in his ship. He's going to be inside of this damn thing. And he has a microphone hooked up in there. And his speakers is all around this damn thing. And when he speaks, his voice, I'm quite sure he's going to have a deep ass voice. And it's going to, it's going to, it's going to put fear into people. What group of, what people, I mean, what person you know in their right mind when you are trying to get your point across... You gotta have some bass in your voice for somebody to take you serious. You can't come to somebody with a old high squeaky ass Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse voice. No, you gotta have some bass in your voice. You gotta speak some power and authority. You gotta have the eyes when you when somebody look into your eyes, they mean and then they know you serious. You got that you got that uh, look in your eyes like man, I'm about to kick your ass when your child do something bad and, they, and you give them that look. And the child knows he's about to get his ass toe up. Because you give him that look. Yeah, like, yeah, your ass is mad. Your ass is grass, Jack. And that's what's about to happen. He's about to come back in this damn spaceship. And he has speakers all around this damn thing. And he's sitting there with the angels. And he's going he's gonna to speak. Everybody's gonna hear. Uh, everybody's gonna hear him, see him. They gonna drop to their to their knees. That's why it says that every knee is gonna bow and every tongue is gonna confess. When you see this shit, you got to excuse my French. I get all excited. I might slip a, 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 a curse word to, a here or two in there. But when you see this big ass thing, you're not gonna have no choice but to drop to your knees. And submit to this power. You see something like this pop up. It's already here. It's here. They made themselves. They made themselves. They have made themselves known. But when they when he gives the the go ahead to make himself fully present, and he pops up in this damn thing, it's poked in the sky. And it becomes visible. Yeah, you're gonna drop to your knees, man. You're gonna think it's some hell. You're gonna think it's something that you had never seen before. You, you are thinking to see some some lizards, some lizards or some reptilians or some of that junk they get out coming out of these ships. No, you're gonna see this. You're gonna see this. You're gonna see you're gonna see Negroes get off this spaceship. They put it in plain sight. Plain sight. The cartoon is saying it. Uh, uh, SNL is saying it. Barack Obama knows about it. Everybody knows about it. And the joke, they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. Making them, they're making a mockery of you. They put us in, uh, uh, they got to dress up, they got to dress up 
dress us up in ugly, creepy, monster attire figures to get the people scared. But the whole time, it's nothing but black people that's in these ships. Then it's in these spaceships just flying around in the sky. Well, guess what? Like I said, don't believe me. You don't gotta believe a damn what I say. But when it comes to pass, hey, I can say I, I'm gonna say I told you. They don't want to believe. I'm gonna say hey, I'm gonna say hey, Heavenly Father Almighty, hey, hey, Father Almighty, nigga. They didn't want to believe me. They thought I was crazy. They thought I was crazy. They didn't want to believe me. They didn't want. They didn't want you to be locked up in a damn nut house. They the ones should be put on meds for treatment. Y'all out here walking around like y'all like y'all got a sane mind. Nah, y'all have to be locked up and put on meds and let the people who was in, who, who was in these uh, psychiatrist homes let them out. They might have been speaking the same stuff that I'm speaking, and the people and their own family won't, won't believe them and say, "Hey, lock them niggas up. Put them put them on meds. They 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 crazy." Okay, like I said, don't believe me. Don't believe, don't believe nothing I say. Don't believe nothing I say. Keep on falling off these false ass preachers, teachers, camps. They're not going in depth like I am and other brothers. They're not even scratching the stabbing, they scratch the surface. They have not even scratched the surface. And now we see that. Uh, 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 this brother on this channel, Black Promotions, uh, let me see, Black Horseman Promotions, he done came out, and I, I, I'm hoping that he's gonna accept the name. I sent this guy an email. I told him to check out my other lessons on this. I'm providing facts, facts that cannot be refuted. Everybody's coming on my channel is either a paid agent a spy making up these fake ass names, these fake ass usernames, talking about me, calling me names, saying this is blasphemous and, and you are insane and crazy. Okay, keep on calling me. I don't give it. I don't give them. I don't give a care. But guess what? When it boils down to when it, when the show go down, hey, guess what? Huh? I got nothing to say. I'm gonna sit back and watch that, watch the stuff go down. I'm not gonna fight you. What's wrong with me fighting you? I don't need to fight. I don't need to physically fight you. I can fight you with my words. My mom always said your words have power. Guess what? I need my words to fight your ass, and it's eating your ass up. That's why think they're trying to shut me up? They're trying to shut me down. Cause I don't fear man. I fear the one who created me, who made everything you see, who is the who, who is the giver of life and the destroyer of life. You have a soul, a spirit that's in this body that you are inhabiting. They say we are spiritual beings having a human experience. That's what people say. If you go along with that, with that theory. But I'm using the Bible to prove your reality. The reality that you walk around every day in, you wake up in the morning, you smell the air, you look up in the sky, you see it's blue. One day, one day it might rain, one day it might snow. You know what I'm saying? There's a source and a power that a Pacific group of people come from. Who has no beginning or ending? Who comes from this source of power that you see? I mean, that you, that you, uh, when you wake up in the morning, you breathe the, you breathe in the air that He has made. So when you talk about in the creation story, because they say most of that stuff is metaphor. What is metaphor? What is a metaphor? They say it's, it's metaphorically speaking, Meta metaphor, allegory, and all that stuff, right? So what is a metaphor? Because he, if he's riding around in this, if he's riding around in this thing, this, this, 
and and uh and this and it's and it's more of them. Twice as big as this. At least right amount in this. Um I just lost my train of thought. It'll come back to me. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, if he's riding around in this, why wouldn't he, why, when they talk about any creation story, we know that the damn white man will change if he didn't think around. And you better something called terraforming? Why is it not possible if he's riding around in this? If he's not on Earth, okay, so he, when he's creating Earth, where in the hell is he at creating Earth? How is he creating Earth? What is what is he using to create Earth or terraforming? To uh, to, uh terraform. What what is what does terraform mean? Terraform. So what does terraform mean? Like I said, you gotta believe a damn what I say. I hope you two don't copyright strike me. But what does terraform mean? Terraform means to transform a planet so as to resemble the Earth, especially so that it can support human life. That's what terraform means. So he created planet Earth, the planet Earth, the Earth, so it can support human life. Right? That's what terraform means. So, we want the, uh, let's see how much time I got, I don't have much time left. So he terraformed the earth. He terraformed the earth So it says terraform. Terraform is to alter the to alter the environment the environment of a celestial body in order to make it capable of supporting terrestrial forms. So we are terrestrials, and he is an extraterrestrial. Terrestrial. You have terrestrial. Now come on, man. Thank. Damn, look. So we have terraform. And we have terrestrial. Terra, T E R R, T E R R. And you have E. T E R R E, T E R R A. Change the vowels. Terra, Terra. Same damn word. You just, it's just semantic. Word semantic. Wordplay. So Terra, so you put a extra on it. So we are the Terra, we are the terrestrial, meaning we are the lower form. And you put something extra to it, you add an extra on it, extra, something that's added, something that's higher than the terrestrial. So extra terrestrial, and terrestrial are one and the same. Put extra on it, you're adding something to it. Something that's higher. Something that came before this. Terrestrial. Something that came before terrestrial beings. What is terrestrial? An inhabitant of the earth. Especially a human being. Oh my God, man. You niggas don't think. This pisses me off, man. Why do you... Sh- I ask myself, why me? Why, why, why do you choose me? Terrestrial. Words have meaning. Terrestrial. Go to the meaning. What the hell are we? We're human beings. An inhabitant of the earth. Are we, the, are we living on the damn earth? Especially a human being. So now you have the terra and let's look up extra terrestrial. 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 Ext
terrestrial. He is an extraterrestrial, meaning he, he is before all, and we come from the extraterrestrial. We come from the source. Damn. So I got five more minutes left. Let me hurry up. So you got extra. Let's type in extra terraform. Uh, uh, extra terrestrial. You got extraterrestrial life, right? Forget this junk. Extraterrestrial life, also called an alien by the so-called white man. It says, uh, a, is a sentient or relatively complex individual, an extraterrestrial. It's life that occurs outside the Earth that did not originate from Earth. So before he made heaven and Earth, where the hell was he at? Where the hell was the Most High at before he terraformed the earth? He was in this. He was in this. He was in this. Before the earth was made, what the hell was he in? If he is a human, we are made in his image and likeness, and we are human beings. He's a human. He's a man. He's an advanced human. So what the hell is going to be riding in? A damn ship to get around in. So he uses this to get around in. And he has advanced technology to terraform things or create things. Let's go back to the damn dic dictionary definition. And it says that Man, this don't make no damn sense. This don't make no damn sense, man. This don't make no damn sense. That's why, if I was that gutter, I could be charging you all by the droves. To get, I could be getting paid big money to teach you all this stuff. I can easily set up a GoFundMe page and a Patreon page and a, and a whatever, a PayPal account to charge you niggas money. I could be making so much money off you, off you niggas, it's a damn shame. But guess what? I don't want your money. I'm trying to free your mind. I'm trying to open up your thinking. So if he, if we are terrestrial, if we are terrestrial beings, meaning we are human beings inhabiting the earth, what the hell is he? He's a, ter he's a terrestrial, but he is an extraterrestrial. Terrestrial, terrestrial. What the hell is it? What the hell is an extraterrestrial? Belonging to the class of I don't like these planets, but where's my where's it at? It's not what I want, but I got it. I gotta go. I'm about to make a part two to this. But you got the gist of it. We are terrestrials inhabiting the earth. And he is the extra. He is the supreme. He comes before all. He said, let us make man in our image and likeness. So what the hell is terrestrial? Terrest the dictionary just said that the terrestrial is a human being. So they say extraterrestrials. So who's coming back on this? Extra. He's a man. He's an advanced human. He knows all, sees all. He rides around this damn ship. And that's what you're going to see coming back when he gives the go-ahead in this. With that being said, I say peace, all praise, Heavenly Father, nigga. Thank you very much.